<laughs> All right, I think we're ready. So, hey everybody, uh, for those of you who might be watching this um, who don't know me, my name is Melissa Sexton and I've been a wellness advocate with doTERRA since 2015. I'm super excited to share with you a, a class tonight on skincare and some of my favorite ways to take care of my skin. Um, and I'm excited to hear from the group, from all the participants, and we're going to collaborate and talk and share some of our favorite ways too, and just talk about the skincare tonight. So I hope everybody has a good time. I think it'll be about 10 minutes of educational material, and then we can go around and share our experience or like what we want to work on, okay? Um, and this is a recorded call. And if you guys have questions, feel free to add them to the chat. Um, if you think of things as I'm teaching, and then we can talk about those things at the end as well. And I am recording, so we can go ahead and go. Okay, so one of the most common body systems that shows up on the Atovi scan whenever I scan clients is skin and hair. And it's like most people seem to be kind of puzzled by that you know they kind of think about it for a second and some people are very aware of their skin and their hair and so i have you know a small percentage of people who are like oh yeah that makes sense you know um but it's really shocking to see how many people do have that come up on the report so i thought it would be cool to focus on that for a little bit to kind of understand it a little bit better um, there's definitely a ton more information in the Essential Life book, so I encourage you to definitely go to that book and research it and um, go a lot deeper than what I'm going to cover tonight. I'm not a scientist and I'm not a doctor, so <laughs> I don't understand like all of the, those, you know, more, uh, anyways, some of those think ways of thinking, but um, I can tell you about my personal experience as a mom and as someone who is paying attention to, you know, my health and all that kind of stuff. So I did get a tiny bit of info for you guys about skin, though. It's kind of cool to think about. So skin covers about 20 feet of surface of our body, and it's um, one of the largest organs, and it's also our protective layer. Um, it protects us from microbes and the elements. It helps regulate body temperature and permits the sensations of touch, heat, and cold. And I just, you know, think it's really cool that we can feel. Um, it feels really good, too, to learn how to take care of your skin. It's one of my favorite self-care practices. If I start to get really achy, if my legs are hurting, um, if I'm just feeling really tired, overwhelmed, or fatigued, it's great to grab some essential oils and some coconut oil or some lotion and just take some time to really rub it in, you know, and it's um, one thing to just kind of like slather it all on, you know what I mean? But when you actually like really take the time to nurture, oh, hi, Brian. <laughs> I'm not sure who Brian is. Let me see. Oh, sweet. Um, if you take time to really nurture your body and think about, you know, I always tell everyone that I'm working with, like, think about healing, think about taking care of yourself just because of the power of our thoughts and things like that. Like actually taking time to love and care for yourself is really important. Um, it's, it's important to take care of your um, external health, so your skin and your body, outside of your body, as it is to take care of your internal health. And Oh, <laughs> you would tell. see, it's going to take me like a long time to figure out this Zoom thing. Anyways, um, okay, so let's talk about my top five ways to take care of my skin that I thought of. Some of these things you guys are probably already doing, um, and some of them might be new to some of you guys. So first of all, coconut oil by doTERRA plus lavender, ylang ylang, and grapefruit. I love this combination. It's very calming. Yiling Yiling is a very beautiful floral scent. Um, it's very emotionally supportive. And then grapefruit is a great metabolism blend. Um, and it's great for the skin too, but you wanna make sure, I always like to give the warnings, um, that you're not using grapefruit or wild orange or any of the citrus oils before you're going out into the sun. So I think you're not supposed to use them um, why does it say my screen is paused? Can you guys see my screen or not? Can you only see me? I can I see the screen. screen, but it's not changing. Hmm. 
why? Thanks. Okay, is that changing now? No, not for me anyway. No, no it's still on the same screen. Okay. What is going on with me? Hang on. Let me just try this one more time. Okay, now can you see it? Yes. It changed. Oh, yeah. yeah. Perfect. Okay, sorry, sorry about that. Okay, so um definitely never use citrus oils on your skin before you go into a tanning bed. There was actually a really big scare a few years ago where someone used wild orange on their skin and they went in a tanning bed and they got third degree burns. So just be super careful not to put citrus oils on your skin before you're going out into the sun or a tanning bed. Um, there's a really awesome tool that I want to tell you guys about. This, this is not a doTERRA product, but I love it so much and it's a great stress reliever. It's called a fascia blaster. <laughs> and a lot of people think these are like, they don't work, but they do. Um, so if you use your oils, with uh, your essential oils with your coconut oil and you use this on your skin, like to massage the skin, then you're actually taking really good care of your skin. It helps with like circulation, it um, helps you to feel better, it helps with cellulite, it does a lot of really great things. And they have a big one too that you can get um, for to do like bigger sections of the body. Um, and then number three is the doTERRA skincare. All three of them are amazing products and we're gonna talk about those in a little bit. Yarrow Palm is a newer product that came out last, um, let's see, like a year and a half ago about. And then just this last September, doTERRA came out with the Yarrow Palm capsules and the body, uh, I think it's like body serum or something like that. That product is incredible. There's been many people that I've seen uh, that I follow that have been able to stop using foundation and yeah, foundation. And so when I saw that, I also quit using foundation. I just use powder now. And so I'm like, okay, save money on foundation and, um, you know, just use the Yarrow Palm. So I add a drop of Yarrow Palm to my moisturizer and it's incredible. Um, skin is, you know, more glowing and healthy and all of that. And I've seen the before and afters of people like putting it on their hands and stuff too. And that works really well. Like I've seen the difference. Um, and then finally, the spa collection that doTERRA offers is incredible. There's a mud mask that you can get. And I've even seen people, and I've also um, used it as a detox even for your armpits, which just seems so gross for me to tell you guys about. But it is important, like if you're switching from a regular store-bought deodorant and you really want to get healthier, you want to stop using products that have aluminum in them, um, or that might not be good for you and you want to switch over to like a doTERRA deodorant, sometimes you go through a period where there's like a lot of smell there. And so it's nice to be able to just use the mud mask um, on your armpits to really pull out the toxins and things that are in there. Um, and then doTERRA also has some really great like lotions and uh, exfoliators and things like that as well. So you can check those out on your back office if you're shopping doTERRA already. And also, um, I cannot scroll again. Here we go. Okay, so what are the differences in the three skincare lines? Um, there is HD Clear, and that's the one that's going to be for teenagers. Adults could use it. It just doesn't have, the HD Clear line isn't going to have as much as what the other two lines have in them. Um, so there's a cleanser, there's a moisturizer, and then there's also a roller ball. And so if you're wanting to even just support your teens emotionally, you could just get them the uh, HD Clear Roller Ball and have them use it on their acne and on their face, and then they're still receiving the benefits of the oils, which are amazing. The properties are really incredible. We'll go over that in a little bit. Um, but that's a great way to get lots and lots of oils, you know, all into one in one blend instead of ordering a bunch of things separately. Um, uh, HD Clear emotionally helps them. It's I'm going to read this to you because of the high quality of oils included and the emotions that these oils work on. It helps with releasing emotional pain, letting go of self-judgment, becoming more self-aware, worthy, and self-accepting. 
And I just, you know, believe that all teenagers are going to deal with some of that as they're navigating through those teenage years. So it's a really great product for them. Okay, and then next, um, doTERRA offers the Virage line. A Virage smooths skin texture, reduces the appearance of wrinkles, minimizes pore appearance, even skin tone protects against further damage and improves cellular hydration. And it so this is what blows my mind is that, you know, for someone again who's wanting to introduce essential oils into their daily routine, but they just can't imagine like having to pull, you know, 20 different bottles out and put a drop of each on. If you just if you just add the skincare in then you're getting all of these oils every single day. So frankincense, coriander, basil, geranium, helichrysum, Hawaiian sandalwood, jasmine, juniper berry, lavender, melaleuca, myrrh, rose, wild orange, and ylang ylang. And I, I'll just briefly cover what some of those do. So frankincense is calming. Coriander helps with um, digestive issues. Basil is very cleansing. Geranium is uh, helps with hormone balancing. It's also a very, very amazing emotional um, support. Helichrysum is great for the skin. Hawaiian sandalwood is calming. Jasmine, another hormone helper. All the flowers help with hormonal stuff. Juniper berry is a very common oil that people use that have issues with sleeping or bad dreams and stuff at night. Lavender is calming. Melaleuca is an immune boosting product uh, or oil. Myrrh is, a, I don't know how to describe myrrh. It's just extremely healing. Rose, another emotional healer. Um, wild orange is a mood lifter and ylang ylang um, is also really good. So you can see right there, like just by using those oils daily on your skin that you're gonna be getting a lot of properties. Okay, and then the last one that we're going to talk about is the um, essential skincare set. There's a lot of different products that you can uh, you can customize your kit, or you can buy like the whole kit. Um, you can buy everything together, or you can buy them, you know, one piece here and there. And um, the products that come with this line, and the difference in this line and the other one is that it's anti-aging that has a lot of anti-aging um, oils in it, is it's a facial cleanser, inv invigorating scrub, pore reducing toner, tightening serum, brightening gel, anti-aging eye cream, anti-aging moisturizer, and finally the hydrating cream. It includes Hawaiian sandalwood, jasmine, geranium, myrrh, ylang ylang, blue tansy, which is great, frankincense. It really covers a lot. Um, personally, I don't know if anyone would disagree, but I like to switch up my skincare. I don't like to just do the same thing over and over. I think that my body and my skin like it. Like if I introduce change here and there, um, it kind of keeps it awake, keeps it alive. So sometimes I'll just use anti-aging line. And then right now I'm using, um, the Virage, uh, I'm using anti-aging skincare and then the Virage moisturizer with the Yara Palm. Um, and then next I'm gonna introduce the eye cream in. So I kind of like piece it together and, and change it up here and there. So that's pretty much it. I wanna hear what you guys have to say and if you have any questions. So does anybody wanna share first? Sure, I'll go ahead. Um, so for my daughter, um, I started using the HD clear, um, on myself as well as on my daughter. Um, it doesn't seem to work too well for her, but it works pretty well for me. I also added in, um, the Yarrow Palm Serum, uh, on her back and on her arms where she has the most acne and it seems to, um, do a much better job than anything that the dermatologist ever prescribed for her. Oh. That's incredible. Yeah, we're, we're pretty happy with it. That's great. That's awesome. So now I need to head for the uh, anti-aging for myself. I have a few wrinkles starting to show. <laughs> so you haven't used it at all yet? Not the anti-aging I have not, no. Okay. Okay. All right, I thought of another story to share, but I'm going to wait until you guys all share. So who wants to go next? I'll share what I'm doing. Okay. 
Yeah. So you just reminded me to do it. I just put Immortel all around my eyes and all around my mouth with my nice laugh lines, you know? So um, the, the objective in putting it around my eyes is that I would like to try to improve my eyesight that I've noticed is starting to get a little bit off, you know? Mm -hmm. so my is too close to my eyes, I gotta back it up a bit. And I'm like, oh no, I'm not ready for this. <laughs> you know? So I thought, well, I'm gonna start doing that because those oils that are in the Immortel are so incredibly powerful that I have a lot of confidence that they'll actually uh, make a lot of improvement to my, to my eyesight. So I'm gonna keep you posted about how that works out. But yeah, you just reminded me now. I'm like, oh yeah, I was gonna do that every day. <laughs> so I That's just really did it. awesome. That's awesome. I totally forgot. I use an Immortel too, like <laughs> around my eyes and my up here on my forehead. So yeah, that stuff is great. I think I got it all over my whole face now because then I put coconut oil a little bit in my hands and all over my face to kind of not not in so much as dilute it, but spread it. <laughs> you know, I'm like this can do more area. Can I just bathe, bathe in it? You know, like we can get rid of the wrinkles everywhere, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It blows my mind that you can buy a bottle of Immortel that has all those different oils in it for the price that it is. I think it's like, is it 90 or 60? I don't know. I don't remember. Yeah, but it's still. In Canadian, it's around 90 bucks. I don't know. What, what it, usually, I have to pay in Canadian dollars what you see in the US dollars as being the retail price. Okay. So whatever retail is, that's what I'm actually paying, <laughs> but in Canadian oh. dollars. Yeah, good thing you're getting 30% back, right? <laughs> yeah, I get 30% back, but I also, yeah, I'm, I, yeah, and I'm also taking get that 25% off. It just that that's just how I know how much I look at the retail price. Yeah. Yep. Cool. Anybody else? I'll share. Um, can you hear me? I don't know. My yeah. phone's like connected to the Bluetooth. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um. So my husband and I actually used the Immortel. That was like one of the first things we used when we got our oils originally, and he used them around his eyes. Um, I don't have to wear glasses or anything, but he actually has, um, I forget what he is. He's the one where you can't see far. <laughs> mm -hmm. And he, um, he went to the eye doctor and his vision actually did improve mm -hmm. from using the Immortel around his eyes. So that was really cool. He was like, what? So he was excited about that. But um, we both use that because, like you said, there's so many powerhouse oils in that blend. It's ridiculous. Yeah. I like to use it um, before I put on Yarrow Palm because it helps the Yarrow Palm spread oh. easily around my face. And I use like a little jade roller and just like massage it all around it. It's really nice. Wow. <laughs> That's awesome. I love that. <laughs> Um, I have the same experience with my eyesight. It's getting worse again. So that's why I just ordered the Immortel like about a month ago and I've been using it again because I'm like, wait, my eyesight. I used to spend a hundred bucks a month on disposable contacts. And then I started using Immortel and I went back to the, the doctor and he's like, your vision's 2020. That was like three years ago. So same thing, but now it's not. So I'm like, okay, I have to start using Immortel again. All right. Who else? I'm waiting to go and see the, the eye doctor so that I would have that, you know, I'd have like the baseline of where did I start with this before I started to make myself better. Um, so that I can like show it, you know, in actual scans and results and say like, this is where I was six months ago and look where I am now. But yeah. the honest truth is like, it's getting worse. And <laughs> do I really want to prove a point or just want to get better, you know? Yeah. So I've decided to just go ahead and start, but I will definitely see an eye doctor as well and get like a, proper diagnosis and see, see how that yeah. goes. Sweet, <laughs> keep us posted, had, that's awesome. I've never, ever, ever had problems with my eyesight before. So I feel confident that this is all I need <laughs> to just boost it a little bit. Hopefully, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what happens. I will let you know. Awesome, anybody else? Charity, you wanna share your skin story? Your skin? Sure. Um, I have the rare child onset psoriasis and so I've had it since I was like two and a half or three. My skin is super dry, super sensitive. I have trouble using deodorant and all kinds of stuff now 
which is a progressive thing for me. Um, I did uh, get rid of the laundry soaps and go to the free and clear a long time ago. I used the low ingredient dish soap because it affects your hands just the same as hand soap does. Um, I'm using the, well, trying the on guard hand soap at home now to see how that will do with my skin. Um, Cause I have psoriasis all over my hands, arms, in multiple places, uh, probably 30% covered, maybe 20. But um, I've been transitioning for years to more natural stuff. Uh, I stopped being able to wear store brand deodorant and I did the deodorant detox where your skin detoxifies itself so that you can actually start to wear um, natural deodorant. There's that transition period. <laughs> so I use natural deodorant now. I make my own lotion and I've added neem to my lotion, which is not something doTERRA has, but mm -hmm. I buy organic neem oil, which is an Indian oil known for its health properties for skincare. That's awesome. I have not tried geranium yet because I'm new to doTERRA and I'm slowly building in my collection. I will be adding lavender to my lotion the next time I make it, which will be in a couple of weeks oh, so um, because that also has benefit. I've recently burned myself and I burn differently than everybody else. Okay. Um, my psoriasis burned first. So yesterday and the day before I rubbed lavender with my lotion, I mixed it together. And my lotion is um, cocoa butter and mango butter with coconut oil and sweet almond oil. So I rubbed that together and my skin in two days of a sunburn is starting to improve. Wow. Using the lavender. Uh, I just got Yaw Palm, but I haven't started using it yet. You're going to love I it. I use oh a really gosh. basic okay. face moisturizer. I'm very hesitant to try the skincare because of my sensitivities, but I did try the anti aging eye cream, and it is super moisturizing, and I really like it. So I think I'm going to try the moisturizer next. Okay, awesome. Um, but using oils, when I started using them, what, last year in May, uh, the different oils that we were using have definitely started to improve my skin from the inside out. And since psoriasis is an inflammatory autoimmune disorder, I'm sure other systems are benefiting too. I just have an external gauge, which is kind of nice. Uh, so I am continuing to dive into the skincare. I'm going to continue to make my own lotion, but I will be starting to add doTERRA to those and trying out rose and geranium, lavender, the different things that I know come up for skincare. That is so exciting. Oh my gosh. You just said two things that were like definitely stuck out at me. One, I'm like so excited for you to try the Euro Palm because if you're having results with lavender, I know you're going to have results with Euro Palm as long as your skin responds well to it. And then there's also helichrysum oil that I don't think you've tried yet either, right? Correct. I haven't tried that yet. So helichrysum is also like one of the powerhouse oils for skin. Um, and then it's f so funny that you just said something about like, you don't know what's happening on the inside of your skin because David and I, when we were in Washington, we were driving and talking and everything. And I was like talking to him about how much I love Yarrow Palm and like how his mom loves it and all this stuff. And I just said, you know, I can only imagine like if I can see on the outside what it's doing to my skin, like what is it doing to the tissues and the, the stuff that's going, the, the organs or whatever that are inside of my body, you know, it's amazing to think about it super exciting it's definitely beneficial yeah cool Karen I think you're the only one who didn't talk tonight did you want to I don't um I don't have anything amazing to say um 
I'm one of those people that's probably not very good at taking care of their skin and I know it. Um, but I do use the um, essential skincare, the cleanser and, and um, toner and um, some, I'm not very good at the, I, I want to try the Yarrow Palm because I, my skin's so oily that putting, I know they say put moisturizer on, but it's counterintuitive to me. And so I don't use moisturizer a lot. Um, so I'm just pretty basic. <laughs> Okay, awesome. Thank you for sharing. Can I well, speak I guess, on that? Yeah, yeah. And because you know what? I heard that actually oils help to draw out the oily skin and then you can like wipe them away. Like that you can use the uh, the oil cleansers will actually, it's like attracting, oil attracts oil, right? So rather than putting water on there and then it doesn't actually pull those oils out and it can help with oily skin. But I believe that Ange Peters did a whole discussion about it. Sorry, my daughter's thing and I'm my tour. <laughs> I, I, I've heard her. I'm, awesome. I'm not I'm sure it was her that talked about it. And actually using the, like, the coconut oils and using the oils to cleanse her face um, to pull out oily skin. That's awesome. Thank you for sharing that. All right, cool. Well, I guess we're good to go. So I will um, upload this class and then you guys can share it with people either today or, you know, down the road, even you can come back to it and share it with people if you want to share with them information about skin. Okay. Yeah, thank you guys for being on. I'll see you guys Thank later. You. Yeah. Thank you. See you later. Okay, bye. Bye. Bye.